Hello everyone, Russ of Aquarimax here. I recently visited the Sequest Interactive Aquarium with my family. We had a lot of fun and I'd like to tell you about it. And just so you know, this is not a sponsored video. So first I'd like to show you some of the animals we saw on display, the ones we couldn't interact with, because the aquarium has a pretty good collection of those as well. I love this wolf eel. It seemed to have a kind of a perturbed or irritated expression on his face. And while I'm sure that's not the case, it was amusing anyway. They had a large exhibit with some seahorses in it, which are one of my personal favorites, a fish that I'd like to keep someday. And then a large tank with some garden eels in it. Garden eels have got to be one of the most bizarre marine fish. It's like a fish that wants to be a plant. And in terms of amphibians, they had a nice enclosure with some red-eyed tree frogs in it. In this vivarium, they had adults, tadpoles, and froglets in varying sizes. So that was fun. In terms of reptiles, they had this veiled chameleon who was intent on not moving while I looked at him with the camera, except for his eyes. A dwarf caiman. That was really fun. My son got a real kick out of that. Where this aquarium really shines is in the opportunities it provides to allow visitors to interact with the inhabitants. In terms of fish that we could interact with, there were the white sturgeon, which my youngest daughter really enjoyed, and uh, this aquarium where you could feed tropical reef fish. In this shot, you can see that she's feeding some Moorish idols, some fox face rabbit fish, and a lagoon triggerfish that's a little greedy. We all got a kick out of the chance to interact with the Gara Rufa, also known as the doctor fish. This is a fish from certain parts of Asia that will nibble on skin and supposedly is able to help treat certain skin conditions. Feeding the rays and the sharks, of course, was a highlight for everyone, especially for my wife. If she could, uh, she would have a large tank with some rays in it in her house. So that's a dream for someday. In the meantime, we'll just enjoy feeding the rays here. We had a ball with the reptiles as well. The monitor really seemed to love to have his belly scratched. He would go right up against the glass, trying to get his belly as close as possible so that we could rub it. The iguanas were really excited about the uh, chopped summer squash that we were giving them. <laughs> this is so cool. That came out of the vending machines. And they even got friendlier than we had expected in some cases. Unquestionably, one of my favorite parts was meeting Samson, a lavender albino reticulated python about 15 feet long. We got to uh, ask questions about him. We got to touch him. And at one point, all five of the other members of my family had him stretched out between them. My family also enjoys birds a lot, so it was really fun to visit with the large flock of budgies that would come down to feed from our hands and land on our heads and so on. I really like the idea of an interactive aquarium, and I also appreciate that they have protocols and staff in place to make sure that the inhabitants and patrons are kept safe at all times. So there are a few highlights of our experience at the Sequest Interactive Aquarium. If you ever have a chance to visit one of their locations, I recommend it. It's a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. I post videos every Friday all about aquarium and vivarium pets. Please feel free to rate, share, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then click the bell icon so you don't miss my next video.